Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Bulldogs have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. String together a few W's, that's exactly what happens. We'll see if they can keep it up. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Tennessee, but today we've got some good football for you. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Vanderbilt is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Fielded at the four. Tackle made at the 30. Well, here comes the guy that we've all been waiting for. Our player to watch this game. Miranda's vision, his patience, Kirk behind center, really makes him a complete player. And Brad, both of those attributes are especially important anytime you're out on the road and you're playing in a hostile environment. This kid is really cool under pressure, and no matter how loud this crowd's going to get today, I don't think he's going to have much of a problem of blocking them out and playing his game. He decides to keep it and picks up seven yards. Fires it out. He's tackled at the 42. First down there on a five-yard pass. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Got it. And he goes down quickly. That's a game of four. That makes it second and six. four-yard line. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. He throws left. That's a great tackle at the 30-yard line. The Bulldogs always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. He passes it. That close to being intercepted. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 30. Has some daylight. Makes his way out to about the 15. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. He's taken down right around the 14-yard line. And he has it on the corner. Tackles right around the 10-yard line. And they make 
the stop at the eight yard line. McLean comes away with two yards on the carry. This isn't much more than an extra point. Mississippi State is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Cardinal come into the game ranked second, dealing the heat from number three. And for Stanford, they continue their winning wave. Stanford finishes it off 24-17. Meanwhile, the Horned Frogs were ranked number six. They hope that performance will move them up in the poll. This game was a mismatch. The Horned Frogs win it big. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. The Bulldogs Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. What a collision. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Hands off to the right and is brought down in the backfield. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Fires to his tight end, nothing to it. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. And that will make it fourth down. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Griffin to punt. They'll bring him down at the 43. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Mississippi State is up a field goal. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. I really don't think this play is going to work if the linebacker doesn't take the bait on the play action. That opened up the room that the offense needed for the first down. He's taken down around the 26-yard line. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long-range yards. And down he goes at the 12. Makes it to the 12-yard line. And he shoved out of bounds around the 10-yard line. Fields it at the one. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Get 
And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. There he goes. He's to the 40. And they bring him down at the 28. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. Wiggins takes it left. And they hit him in the backfield. No gain on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Great ball game so far as we reach the end of one. Six nothing, Bulldog. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. the 16 yard line. It's first down. They'll bring him down around the 17 yard line. They couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one. Well, I don't think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Second and goal. From the one yard line. Second down. They'll drop him for a loss. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. That makes his third and goal. This is the ninth play of this drive. miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. So it's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He goes at the 31. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. 
With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Mississippi State holds a field goal lead. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Brought down at about the 43-yard line. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Now he's scrambling. And he hits him hard at the 48. That's a deep Third down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick strike, and he drops it. Seven yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Ball on the 42. seven-yard line first down they'll spread the field with five wide throws and it's incomplete I mean he has his wide receiver wide open you spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go you got an open man like this just step and deliver and make the throw but he's going to lose yards here. Loss of about two. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. That brings us forth to the line. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Mississippi State is up by three. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield.
tackled immediately after the catch. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. You know, they pick up some great yards here on the ground. you got to be wondering if the quarterback would love to have a chance to throw the football to be able to see if he could get the first down. But nonetheless, they do pick up some good yards. Allen is back deep to return. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He wants it all going long. It's knocked away incomplete. From their own 45-yard line, second down. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. He heaves it deep. Missed him. Points were very hard to come by in those first two quarters. They'll head to the locker room. Mississippi State leads it 6-3. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The stats are certainly not overwhelming from an offensive standpoint. These two teams averaging less than six yards per pass attempt. That's not really what you're after in the passing game. But a lot of it can be attributed to really good defense. I, look, you know quarterbacks want to take care of the ball first, but they also want to push it down the field. How do you balance that with this guy not a lot of room downfield to throw the ball, it doesn't seem, but he's taking the check down pretty quick. Yeah, well, and, and if there is no room down the field, and you see, you don't see very many open receivers just streaking. I mean, you, you haven't seen that. So the defense is doing a good job of taking that deep stuff away. But the number one thing is, if you're going to bail out, Reese, and you give them that underneath, underneath stuff, that, that easy pass completion, you got to tackle. And, and that's what they're doing. They're coming up, and they're not letting him, you know, throw a seven-yard route that goes 50 yards. And, and that's one of the biggest keys to defense. Let them throw the underneath stuff, come up, make a good tackle, live to fight another down. You know, I had a wise coach once tell me, teams do not beat you throwing and catching. They beat you by running after the catch. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 29. The Bulldogs continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they make the stop at the 26. Total loss of three yards on the way. From their own 26-yard line, second down. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. And he's taken down right around the 46-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Fires quick 
to an open man. He dropped it. That brings up third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And they push him out at the 49. Morgan back to return it. He's taken down at the 26 yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Mississippi State has a three point lead. rid of it. They hit second and ten. Ball on their own 26. And down he goes at about the 27 yard line. Field gains his way to the 43 yard line. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. Throws it in a hurry. Good open field tackle. Burks makes the tackle at the 32 yard line. First down. Gains his way to the 23 yard line. That's a good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. at the 16. So they'll pick up a first down there on a seven-yard completion. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. He can ask for much more than that. From the 16-yard line, first down, Mississippi State is up a field goal. The 10, great concentration to haul it in. They'll bring him down at the 9. Joseph brings him down at the 9-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Caught with room to work, and he tackles him hard at the one-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it first and goal. Stop your whining. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Touchdown, Mississippi State. makes the PAT. So a 10 play, 74 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He'll return it from the one. He's tackled at the 24. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He's got it with room to run. He's to the 40. I'll tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. We 
They've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 46. Looks for his running back, incomplete. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. made at the 48-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll bring up third and eight. From their own 48-yard line, it's third down. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. So that'll make it fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Morgan fields it at the 17, and he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. From their own 26-yard line, second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Here we go. Complete across the middle. He's tackled at the 40. McCoy makes the tackle at the 40-yard line. That'll make it third and one. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down around the 50-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. Excellent open field tackle. He's at the 40. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. What's the throw? What's the throw? What's the throw? Five wide. Short pass, middle of the field, and he's level at the 29-yard line. So at the end of three, Mississippi State leads it 13-3. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Up the middle for a nice game. Game of six yards. First down. outside for a nice game. Third down has been the charm on this drive. No, it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. McLean, outside. They'll knock him down for a loss. Here's the 11th play of the drive. He's 
taken down around the two yard line. That makes it 30 goal. Touchdown, Bulldogs. A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Got it and brought down immediately. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Johnson is the intended receiver on the way. That makes it third and three. Just under three to go in regulation. but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. A one-yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Let's it fly. At the 40 yard line. You know, Brad, I, I know this game is out of reach, but I just love to see that these guys haven't given up. And there's more to a game than just thinking about winning and losing. As a coach, you want to see your team not give up and continue to try to go out and execute. From the 40 yard line, it's second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Wants to throw outside. And the intended receiver on the way. That brings us third and ten. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And they make the stop at the eleven. the eighth play of this drive. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. Just under two to go in the game. Throws quick to the receiver, falls incomplete. Tenth play of the drive. Inside and he's quickly brought down. The offense is going to stay on the field and try to convert another fourth down. Rose complete touchdown. That 
was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. And he hits the PAT. It was an 11 play, 78 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. And he's taken down at the 40. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. A five-yard pickup by the halfback on the misdirection. The Commodores will use their first time out of the half. Second and five. Ball on the 35. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Nice run, and he's brought down. Vanderbilt will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. They'll keep it on the ground again. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball in the 23. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Man, man, man. Church takes a handoff. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That corner did a great job there containing the outside and not allowing the ball to get by him. That showed good discipline by this defense. Taken down right around the 20. That makes it and they'll look to convert here on another third down. Makes it to the 11. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense and their psyche. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. And that's the end of the ball game. And our final score in this one, 20-10, Bulldogs. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.